Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dumb coming back with another video. And today is uh see that this uh, a lot of people talked about that this was going to happen. There was a lot of head coaches fired, but before I get into that I wanna say thank you to Bill's defensive tackle Kyle Williams. Uh retired after yesterday's game. After 13 seasons in the NFL, um, one playoff appearance, and that was last year. Uh, they uh, had a couple of plays for him. Uh, last year, he scored a touchdown this year. He caught a pass for nine yards from Josh Allen. So uh, thank you, Kyle Williams, for, uh, not, for not going to another team. Uh, played his whole career with the Buffalo Bills. Had chances to sign with other teams, but he wanted to be a Buffalo Bill. Um, so thank you, Kyle Williams. This defense is going to miss you. Uh, but let's let's get right into this. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had fired their head coach, Kirk Carter, I think it is. Um, that team... Uh, after losing, uh, so it's going to be interesting who their, who their new head coach is going to be. And this is, this is the one that people knew about all year. The New York Jets fire head coach Todd Bowles. Uh, it was bound to happen. It had to happen. I think it was a year late. They should have, uh, fired him, uh, last year. And, uh. Then the Denver Broncos fire head coach Vance Joseph after just two seasons. Remember, he was hired uh, last year with the with the Denver Broncos uh, when the Bills hired Sean McDermott, along with Adam Gase of the Miami Dolphins. He the the Miami Dolphins fired head coach Adam Gase after just two seasons, and the Cincinnati Bengals fire head coach Marvin Lewis. Uh, all these firings were uh, bound to happen, and the Arizona Cardinals fire head coach Steve Wilkes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coaching vacancies uh, to be filled. I think uh, if uh, Jim Harbaugh doesn't go to the Jets, I think uh, th there's going to be names thrown around like Rex Ryan. Um, I think the Buccaneers, uh, or the Miami Dolphins, um, might snag Rex. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals, they could go after John DeFilippo, uh, and Brian Dayball, um, from the Bills. He's the offensive coordinator. It, it's, it's gonna be interesting on, uh. Who who uh, is hired? Uh, I think the Cleveland Browns should keep Greg Williams. Um, there's a lot of rumors that they won't, but I think they should. Uh, I liked him when he was the Buffalo Bills head coach back in the late '90s, early 2000s. Um, actually, it was more into the 2000s. Um, but Greg Williams. Uh, I liked him when he was our head coach, and uh, I think the Browns should keep him. He won more games than uh, their other head coach did. Marvin Lewis, I'm not sure, will get another job. I don't think Adam Gase will get another head coaching job. I think he'll be an offensive coordinator somewhere. Um, look at Frank Reich. He was just hired... Uh, this year with the Indianapolis Colts and he's got him into the playoffs. So, um, I think that uh, th these guys will find their head coaches where I don't know. Um, I don't want to lose Brian Dayball as our offensive coordinator uh, out of Alabama, but uh, I think he's going to be a head coach somewhere. Maybe Green Bay. Green Bay has mentioned his name. I think possibly Cincinnati. Denver, I don't think so. Uh, Denver, though, John Elway could pursue um, uh, Jim Harbaugh 
trying to uh, get him away from Michigan. Uh, there's some college coaches out there that uh, uh, are uh, being named to these teams. Um, I think uh, Mark D'Antonio of uh, the Michigan State Spartans. Uh, I think he would uh, fit in well with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And possibly maybe the Jets. Uh, and possibly Miami, maybe. But uh, it's going to be interesting. And today is another slate of college bowls. The one main bowl that I'm interested in is the Red Box Bowl between the Michigan State Spartans and the Oregon Ducks. Nobody gives Michigan State a fighting chance in this one. But uh, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. And you tell me wh where you think uh, these head coaches are going to end up and which team would they best fit with. So uh, until my next video, you stay classy, YouTube. Happy New Year.